little oasis in a bustling downtown Toronto neighborhood. It's just a calmer space. It's definitely a cooler space. It's a temporary tree installation that's made a big difference. Asphalt is hot and uh, concrete is hot. When you add more green, it uh, absorbs toxins and it gives off more oxygen and we all need that and it does cool the area. This installation paid for by corporate sponsors. But a study from the Suzuki Foundation, which surveyed more than 1,400 Torontonians in 2019, found most willing to pay a little more municipal tax for a little more tree cover. Between one and two dollars per person per year. And no matter where people live, it found most want more trees planted. But there is a tree equity problem. Typically, more wealthy neighborhoods have more trees and green space, but just behind me, one of the city's most densely populated lower income neighborhoods, hardly any trees at all. The study recommends prioritizing those neighborhoods so more people can benefit from trees. She said there is nothing green. I yeah. don't feel good. The problem is yeah. where? On some of these very dense spaces, there is no room for trees, or we have to admit that there is a room for a very tiny tree, like this little honey, honey locust. There is room for hedges and vines, says this urban forestry professor. But some tree deserts may simply have to serve as a reminder of what not to do. Oh, I have here now this like building. Oh, let's put a few trees. We have to have a master plan of green areas. It's not just the city, she says. All levels of government need to step up. But sometimes nothing beats an effort rooted in the community. The majority of people have said they'd love to see it again. They'd like to see it be a permanent inst installation. A small patch of green, maybe elbowing its way into the concrete jungle. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Toronto.